Hi everyone, Gabe Steer here again with another StarCraft II commentary guide. Uh, this video is for the For the Swarm challenge, and this will show you how to get a gold rating on that. And this particular run is also a flawless run without any losses. So, as usual, if you want an extra challenge, I encourage you to try it. It's kind of fun. Uh, anyway, like the other challenges in this set of three, these are all about starting off with an army, splitting it up to counter the three waves that you can, uh, as best you can. So the setup for this first set is three of your Ultralisks against the Colossus, one Ultralisk and the rest uh, Zerglings appear for this Immortal, and then everything else, including your Infester, up here for all the void rays. So let's get started. This is real easy. Just kind of fan out your uh, ultralisks so that the splash damage doesn't really hit. And then once they get close, start running in. What you actually want to do is run, sort of like have them move past uh, rather than just to attack the front one. And that way they'll sort of try to bunch into the center and the splash damage will will hit all the Colossus. So you can kind of see that there. And then just micro out any Ultralisk that gets low. It's pretty simple. And this one, normally you wouldn't use an Ultralisk here, but if you're going for zero losses, then you need one to soak up the hits because as far as I can tell, it's near impossible to actually micro a Zergling out before he dies because it takes two shots from the Immortal. Maybe it is possible, but it's certainly I'm not capable. So get your Ultralisk out in front so he's engaged first. Then I split up my Zerglings a bit. And just basically have the Ultra engage, get the aggro, and then run your Zerglings over and they'll do you most damage and that's it. Pretty easy. And then this wave is the hardest of this round. So I use the Infester for all his infested Terran spawns, just to kind of soak up damage. And then sort of try to spread your Hydralisks in a, in a cone there, concave. And then make sure you force them to attack the same target so you get these down faster. That said, it is still kind of hard, so you'll have to micro your uh, Hydralisks such that you either pull them back or probably easier is just to burrow them. That's what I do. So you can see there's one that gets burrowed. I think this one, yeah. So there you go. Just just use burrow for any that get an orange and you should be alright. Uh, that's one thing to keep in mind is I think every single Zerg unit that's ground on these uh, on this challenge has burrow. So use that to your advantage. Anyway, so this is, we've got uh, Zealots, Void Rays, and Stalkers. So send your Ultras, sorry, <laughs> well, I guess we'll have to show you, show you later. Anyway, you send all your Roaches to this side for the Zealots. And remember that Roaches on Creep are really, really fast. They're even pretty fast off the Creep because these don't have charge. So you kind of, what I do is just kite a little bit. Just uh, run back, stop, fire on something, so on and so forth. But because the roaches have burrow and their rapid regen, it's a pretty good tactic to just simply burrow for a while, regen a bit, pop back up, fire a bit more, or kite a bit more, and drop again, and so on. Uh, once this, the Spire gets kind of low, you don't really want to drop them all because the Zealots might kill it. So at that point you actually micro and, and burrow only ones that are getting low. But that's the basic idea. Kite while you can, and then once you can't kite anymore, use burrow to prevent any deaths. Not too bad. Okay, so up here we've got Void Rays. And we use our Mutalisks and our Infester. And the Infester, again, is used just for Infested Terran to soak up, similar to the last Void Ray Wave. So just 
hit T and click a bunch over here and get those spawned. And then burrow him. Probably doesn't matter, but... And then force your mutalisks to attack the same target. And you can see IQ up attacks and then microwave any that get in the orange. And not too bad. The infested Terrans really are what make that easy because they soak up a lot of that initial damage. And then this wave is really simple. You just got some stalkers. Uh, one thing you might be tempted to do here is to back up so that once you let the, the stalkers get as close as possible so you have creep to help you with your movement but actually that will force them to attack the spire and then they'll get in a concave so it's actually better to engage early in this case so that they're more clumped up in a ball and the splash does more damage but either way it's really simple you, I don't even think you have to micro at all so this whole round is actually pretty easy And then round three, we've got uh, carriers at the top, Archon Zealots, and Stalkers, and a couple of Mortals. So you want to send up all your Corruptors up to the top here for the carriers. Also send your Infester. Once again, Infested Terran really help with air units. Uh, here you've got all your Ultralisks and Roaches, and just all your Brood Lords for the left side. So, really nothing special about the split. Uh, this wave is really simple. You might have to micro the, the Brood Lord that's in front just a little bit, but other than that, once the Broodling count gets high enough, they'll completely stop attacking Brood Lords. You probably didn't even have, I probably didn't even have to move that guy, but uh, whatever. So then you just kind of wait, because they'll attack only the Broodlings, and eventually you will overrun them. So, very simple. Uh, this one's quite easy as well. Put your Ultras in front, get your Roaches in the back, and then just wait for them to come up. Just attack everything, you'll kind of get this wall of, of ultras in front and then just watch the health of your ultras and burrow any that get low. Very easy. Finally, this one is definitely the hardest just because it requires quite a bit of micro to not lose any units because if you don't explicitly tell them to attack a carrier then any unit that's able to will actually go for the uh, interceptors that they launch instead. Which, obviously, if you attack those, it lowers the damage you take, but really it's better to actually just kill the carrier, because then all the interceptors associated are gone. Also, don't forget that they have this uh, corruption ability. For a long time I was trying to do this by getting corruption on everything and then attacking, but I actually found it was easier just to attack, then corrupt the one I'm attacking, and repeat. And to start out, make sure you spawn infested Terrans up in front. Use those to get the initial uh, damage soak while you get in position. And make sure all your Corruptors are explicitly attacking the same target, and it's a carrier. Once that dies, tell them to attack something else. And then micro back any that get low. It can be pretty hectic to try to pick them out, so make sure, or remember you can use this area here to actually see which ones are low. So that was kind of fast, but uh, really that was the hard, hard part of that. So, as always, thanks for watching, and good luck!